Okay, church, um, this is one of those situations that I've talked with you about before. You know, mainly, most of the time it has to do with me going hunting or fishing with somebody and problems that we might have. But I don't think it's just limited to that. I think it's just maybe being around me. So uh, last night we had uh, home groups at our house, me and Susan's house. And I have some good news, but I got some bad news too. The good news is uh, our house didn't burn down. That, that's the good news. The bad news, well, uh, it's kind of, it, it was pretty bad. It really was. Thank you. It was so bad that we had a lot of people in there last night and there was food on the counters, there was food on the stove top, and our stove, uh, obviously, it doesn't take much to turn the knobs, so when people come up to get food off of the stove, if they accidentally touch that knob, it will turn the knob on. And so I'm looking over the stove and I'm seeing smoke coming up from the stove. And so I'll go over there and uh, there's a rubber, Susan has a rubber mat that fits on the glass top that we put the food on and it is melting. And so I took the food off and I picked up, didn't even think about putting a mitt or something. I just picked up the rubber mat and flames were going everywhere and I had somebody open the back door and ran out and just threw it out in the yard. I didn't even think anything about that and and then I started thinking about what I just did. There was flames all over that thing and I didn't even get a hair on my arm singed. Praise the Lord. But you know so we we had a mess there in the kitchen Fire alarms went off, fire department was calling. Uh, it's a burden, I'm just telling you. But it's just another life, day in the life of me, one of your pastors. Thank you for praying for me. This afternoon at 2.30 on the back porch, there will be a wedding shower for Weston Weidenbinner and his bride-to-be, Katie Harrison. We hope to see you there. Check the bulletin to see where they're registered. Tonight at 5 o'clock, our ID56, that's our 5th and 6th graders, they're meeting in the ID56 room. Also, Awanas will meet at 5 as well. And tonight, our theme is the American flag. Wear the American colors and let's honor our veterans and the people that have served our country and given us all this freedom. Youth, we're having our regular service tonight at 5 up in the loft. Hope to see you there. This evening at 5 o'clock, Next Level is going to meet on the back porch. Hey, intercessors, tonight at 5 o'clock, we have our intercessory prayer. We are changing location, though, from the adult Sunday school room where we've been meeting, and we're going to start meeting over in the office in the conference room. So we're still meeting, same time, just on the other side of the parking lot. So come and be a part of intercessory prayer. There's a lot of lives that are being touched and people being healed and set free because of the prayers of the saints. See you tonight at 5. Ladies, don't forget, tonight is our ladies' Bible study at 5 o'clock. This week we'll be meeting in the adult classroom instead of the ladies' classroom. So I'll see you there at 5 o'clock as we continue our study of the book of Daniel. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. Church family, actually tonight we are going to be starting a marriage class. And so wanted to invite you, uh, whether you're single, engaged, if you've been married for a very short amount of time, or if you've been married for a long time, come on and enjoy the marriage class. Victor and Susanna Arteaga are going to be, be teaching it. We're going to be bringing some guests in to share some, some perspectives on things that has worked and not worked in marriages. And if you just need a checkup on your marriage or if your marriage is really in need of some help right now, this is for you. So tonight at 5 o'clock in the women's Sunday school room at the end of the hall on the right, there's going to be a group meeting. We're doing a class called The Art of Marriage, and it's going to be really good. So come on and let's do this together as the Lord heals our marriages. Just a reminder, this week, midweek on Wednesday, we will be having a normal service at 6. Hey, widows and widowers. This coming Thursday, 
widowers at 11.30 will meet for lunch uh, at the office. Just come to the office, 11.30. The widows will meet that night at 5.30. That's this coming Thursday. Widowers at 11.30, widows at 5.30. Come and let's share a meal and fellowship with one another. See you there. <laughs> What's up everybody? We have an announcement for the youth. November the 16th, we're going to be having a lock-in. <laughs> everybody meet here at five o'clock. Guys, you're staying with me. We're gonna be in the loft. Okay, and girls, we're gonna meet at five o'clock and we're gonna get in the vans and we're gonna go to my house. And, hello. And we're gonna have a shindig time. I hope you guys can all come and it's just gonna be great. This month, our Oasis Food Pantry is collecting items that would be used for a Thanksgiving meal. Please bring things like canned sweet potatoes, uh, green beans, instant potatoes, cornbread mix, um, anything that you would use to put into a Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks for all you're doing. Hey BJ, guess what? what? I am so excited about spring break coming up. What are you gonna do? You know I'm going skiing. What you're about you? Skiing? Wait. Skiing? Yep. Oh, I've been before. That was so much fun. I've when are you going to go? Can I go with you? The 24th, the week of spring break in March. The 24th week of spring break. Wait, what? Now you have to register. I don't though. Okay. I, I, what, how do I register? What do I do? Call the church. Okay. For sure. Who, who can come? Like, what are the ages? All ages. All Everybody ages, can like come. Like zero year olds can come? Yep. Zero year olds. Okay. Did you hear that kids? Did you hear that zero year olds? You can come too. All right, well, I'll call the church. Hey guys, okay, so we have one week left. That is seven days, and I don't know how many hours, but seven days left to get your Samaritan's Purse boxes in. Um, if you haven't picked one up yet, they are in the tr Children's Church building. Um, and just drop it off. There's gonna be a table in the Children's Church building as well to drop off the, the boxes that are full. So y'all have fun with that. Hey church family, uh, we have some condolences this week we want to give to the, the Whitten family for the loss of Janine, to the McArthur family for the loss of Marv, and to Stacy Robbins and her family for the loss of her mother, mother Becky Webb, so Stacy and Renee's mom. So we just pray the Holy Spirit would be with each and every one of these family members uh, during their time of loss. Hey everybody, I want to tell you about something exciting um, coming up November the 9th. Uh, our church is going to be uh, putting together a Christmas float for the Christmas Parade, the Hot Springs Christmas Parade. Um, and we, our float's going to be about the true meaning of Christmas, which is Jesus. Um, and I hope you guys can join us. We're going to need some actors to be on the float. We're going to need decorators. Come on, ladies. We're going to need some handymen. Come on, men. We need some building done. Um, so if you would like to help with this, uh, it's uh, just contact me before December the 1st because that week of we are going to be decorating and building and getting stuff ready. So y'all just give me a call. Church, this is the first Trinity Church Challenge that I'm issuing today. And it's not just for today, but it's for every week. But here's, here's what we would like for our people to do. That each week you would invite somebody to come to church. When's the last time you invited somebody to come to church? So I challenge you, Pastor Matt and I challenge you, that we would start as a body of believers asking people on a weekly basis to come to church. Now sometimes they might say no, but sometimes they might say yes and come. And that's all we can do is just to ask. So please take this challenge seriously, that during the week you will ask people to come to church. And it would be a blessing for them as well as you to see them respond to your prayers. Thank you. We've got November prayer cards now located on the back porch. Head back there to pick one up. Church family, isn't it so good to get together this morning? I am so glad to be here in your presence with you, worshiping. And so this morning, as we have gathered together, let's worship God. Let's give Him all the praise and honor and glory that He deserves and that He is so worthy of. We have a such a wonderful King and Lord and Savior in Jesus Christ. 
and God our Father. And so let's honor him this morning from the deepest part of our heart and our spirit that we would worship him this morning in spirit and in truth. And I, I believe in prayer this week that the Lord showed me that there's people here this morning with arthritic conditions, that some, some of your joints are so sore you can't even move from bone rubbing bone. And I just believe this morning God is gonna release a spirit of healing upon people in here today with arthritic conditions. I myself have arthritic condition. I am believing God to touch our people today and make, make our bones and where they're not rubbing together and causing the pain and discomfort. So if you're in that condition this morning, receive what God wants to do for you today and claim a healing for those joints in Jesus' name.